put it through a series of EQs, limiters, whatever kind of gear you want to use to get it to that level and make it sound good. Choosing that stuff is really where your knowledge and your artistic intentions come in. Hi, I'm Chris Garinger. I'm here today with Mix with the Masters. We're going to be talking about mastering, and I've got a whole bunch of songs for you to listen to and see what I did to them. Time is passing like a solar eclipse. See you watching and you blow me a kiss. You have to learn to read your client. You have to learn to read what they want from you and really look at what they gave you as their idea of perfect if they don't tell you anything different. Does my stuff match up? sonically? Is it bright enough? Is it enough bass? Does the bass punch? Is it too bright? Things like that I just compare my music to to make sure I'm, I'm always checking myself and staying with the mainstream. In this section here, what I did was change my limiter for the notes to a transient setting, which cleaned it up, and I also changed the character here to a little slower. You have a, a limiter setting that works on the broad spectrum, but in certain places doesn't work. It's a little slice, you go in there, you change the setting, change it through the limiter instead of just allowing those to happen. In music, you should be open to everything. You should be open to every opportunity to work. Everything that is music, you should be open to. So being open to like trying new things and new stuff is it's the way to go. It's absolutely the only way you can learn. Yeah. 